What do words taste like? What color is the letter A? And what does the Mona Lisa sound like? These questions may sound bizarre to you, but for a special group of people, they make total sense. Welcome to the world of synesthetes. The human brain is extremely complex. Any subtle change in how it develops can lead to us experiencing the world in very different ways. Such is the case with people who have synesthesia. This fascinating neurological condition is a result of the cross-wiring of your five senses that aren't normally linked to one another. As a result of this cross-wiring, people can feel, see, hear, smell, and taste things in unique ways. They see bright colors while listening to music and can smell words. For synesthetes, certain textures can even create certain emotions. What exactly causes this amazing anomaly in the brain? And if we know what causes it, are we able to develop it with practice? Let's see what science has to say. The exact cause of synesthesia is still unknown. However, scientists have theories about how it develops. Researchers believe that synesthesia results from an overabundance of neural connections. Our five primary senses, hearing, sight, touch, taste, and smell, are controlled by different parts of the brain, with limited cross-communication. In the brains of people with synesthesia, the walls are broken down, and there is more communication among these brain regions. As a result, the information gets jumbled. Another possible explanation for synesthesia is that inhibitions in neural pathways are reduced in synesthetes, allowing multisensory processing of stimuli. Synesthesia is extremely rare, and most synesthetes are born with it. It's estimated that only 4% of people in the entire world have this awesome condition. Interestingly, some researchers believe that we all have synesthesia to varying degrees, and it is simply that some of us are more aware of the sensory stimuli. There are several various types of synesthesia, and people who have one type might also experience another. By far, the most common form is when people link words to colors. In this case, a person sees a color when a particular letter is shown to them. The color they perceive is internally consistent, meaning that if a person sees green when they see the letter A, they will always see green when the letter A appears. In these instances, it might be that the areas of the brain responsible for processing language and color, which are next to each other, have become slightly merged. If you think that sounds strange, how about this? Imagine watching someone getting punched in the stomach and you feeling that blow to your own gut. Or imagine you're standing face to face with someone, and that person in front of you reaches up and touches their own nose with the tip of their finger. As their finger makes contact with their nose, you simultaneously feel a touch on your own nose, even though you haven't moved a muscle. This fascinating phenomenon is called mirror touch synesthesia, in which one person experiences the sensation of another. Some people with a rare form of synesthesia can taste words, and they may also perceive temperature or texture of the words they're tasting. Less than 0.2% of the population have this form of synesthesia. While researchers haven't precisely identified the cause of synesthesia, there has been some progress in understanding where it can come from. It's been known for decades that most synesthetes are born with a condition, while some develop their synesthesia after experiencing some trauma to the brain. More recently, studies have linked the condition to certain genes, leading scientists to believe that synesthesia may be heritable. No matter how it's acquired, we can be sure that the world of a synesthete is incredible.